Hello guys, welcome to this video. I hope you're doing great. And today we're gonna be making a fun project. We're gonna be making a jokes API. So what is a jokes API? It's basically an API that has two endpoints and we are gonna get some random jokes from a database that I have. And if you have one particular job uh, by 9ID, you can get it by this method. So I'm gonna make a quick demo and then I'm gonna move on to show you how we can build this. It's really simple. It's gonna be uh, a starting project show up your skills in Python. So we start with the jokes API. We're gonna hit try out, we're gonna execute, and we get one random joke out of the, all the jokes I have in this data set, okay? If I execute again, we get another joke and so on. Now, if I go to the jokes and joke ID endpoint, I can click again, try out, and I can put just a number here. Let's try, for example, I don't know, this number, I'm gonna try execute, and it's gonna give me the data that has this particular ID in the data set, okay? So we can retrieve either a random number or a random joke, or a particular joke if I already know which joke ID is in the data set. Now let's move on to build this API. This is the project structure. This is empty at the moment, but I'm gonna show you which files we are gonna to use. So we basically have the app file. This is the main file of the whole project, which is gonna have the definition of which endpoints we are gonna to, to implement. We have the road file, and this file, if you remember in the API demo, we have two endpoints. We have the jokes and jokes with a joke ID. So in this file, we are going to define the logic behind those roads. We have the models with a joke.py file. This file is gonna have the structure of the response of the API. We have the requirements, and this is the package we are going to be using for this particular project. So this is basically the first step we have to make in order to start this project. So let's do that. I'm gonna open here a terminal. By the way, I'm using PyCharm, but you can use Visual Studio Code or any other editor, okay? So I will type pip install requirements txt. And in this command, we're gonna install this particular a package that we need to run the API. And as you can see, this is already downloading this package. Okay, and we have the data a folder. This is the folder that is going to contain all the jokes that I set. Uh, I just wanna make a quick note here. I didn't want to make this too complex, so I didn't use a database, but in a real case scenario, you probably use MongoDB or Postgres and MySQL just to store this information. In this case, I just have a JSON file with all the jokes that we are going to have available in our API. As you can see, there are a lot of them. I got this particular dataset from Kaggle, so it's an open source dataset, and I'm just gonna use it to make this API. Okay, let's start by defining what is gonna be our response model or the fields that we are going to return in the API. So for this, we are gonna use a package called Pydantic. So I can type from Pydantic import base model. And I'm gonna define a new class here. The class base model is gonna have the definition of which field we are gonna use and which data type we have in each of the fields. So for example, I have the ID field, which is an integer. Let's go check this real quick. I have the ID, the text, the a category, and a rating, okay? So we have to define those fields in here. So I have the ID, which is an integer. I have the text, which is on a string. Category is on a string. And we have ratings, which is a float. So that's it for this particular file. We have already our definition of the data we are going to use. All right, now let's move on to the roads, which is the main part of this API, okay? So as we saw, we are gonna have two roads, the jokes root and the jokes joke ID. So in here, I'm gonna be using pandas just to make the data wrangling and getting the data from this JSON file. And from fast API, I'm gonna be using first API router, which is gonna allow me to create a new route independently of potentially new routes in the future. I'm also gonna be using JSON response, which allows me to create a nicely formatted JSON 
that is compatible with the JSON response in the API. For models, I'm going to be using the joke model that we just create in order to tell the API, hey, this is the expected result in every request. Okay, I'm going to create a, an app. And by the way, for those who haven't used a fast API before, but maybe you know Flash, it's quite similar. You have a, a lot of methods that are almost the same. And there are a couple different. And if you want to know more about Fast API, you maybe want to be explaining uh, the main methods that it has, and maybe something more simple. You can just tell me uh, right in the comments, and I will look after it. Okay, so I'm gonna create the API router. Okay, and I'm gonna use a data, which is gonna be just a empty bit, and this is gonna help me to you know to read the data that we have in the JSON file and just make a little of data wrangling. I have the data in that JSON file. I need to read it, but I don't want to read it every time that the API gets a request. I want to read it only when the API starts because it's an static file. No one is going to be uh, modifying it. So I don't need to refresh it every time. I just need to refresh it every time that the API starts. So for this, I can use something that is really useful in Fast API. We just have to call the app jokes. And there is a method called on event, okay? And the event that we want is start up. So every time that the API starts from scratch, it's gonna execute this function that I'm gonna define. Now remember, Fast API is in an asynchronous package. So for defining a function, I have to do sign def. And I'm gonna call this read jokes. I'm gonna use that dictionary. I'm gonna assign to the jokes key. I'm gonna assign pd the read json, and in this line of code, we read all that data set, and we're gonna have that nice pandas format. Now I'm gonna start defining the first row that is going to be the jokes. So again, I have to use this decorator up jokes, and now we're gonna define the method. Okay, so we can have like for example a post method, a get a put, a delete, it depends on what you need. In this particular example, we are retrieving some information from a data set. So we need to use the get method. Now we define the root that we're gonna use. In this case, the root is called jokes. And I can add some metadata, for example, the response model is gonna be joke. So I'm telling Fans API that it should look for this joke object and the response of the API must have those fields that we define already in that other file. We can also add a description, for example, get a random joke. We can also add a tag. Now, by the way, this is gonna allow me to put together different endpoints under one single header. And now we need to define our function, which is gonna be the function that's gonna take one random sample from the data. So I'm gonna use async def random joke and now i have the data in that dictionary and remember this is a pandas as a frame and i can use one method that is called sample when this uh, method we are going to take one random sample from the whole data set so we are only going to get one joke from this of course if you want to retrieve maybe two three or more jokes you just can change this particular uh, argument now, as we are working with an API, we cannot return a pandas other frame result. It has to be a JSON object. So I'm gonna use result, result to dict, and this is gonna export data frame into a dictionary. And now I'm gonna return JSON response of the result. So in this function, I just made sure that our dictionary gets parsed to a JSON format. Okay, before we move to the next endpoint, I want to test this endpoint in particular. So for that, I have to start my API and I have to start my server. Okay, how do I do that? I go to the app.py file and here we are going to type from fast API, import fast API. So this is basically the app that we are going to be using. And from the roots, I have to start the app jokes that we have just defined in order to tell to fast API, okay, I want this me wrote to be running in my application. App is gonna be a fast API application. We're gonna give it a tile, which is jokes API by data science.py. 
you can give it a description. Okay, random jokes. And we can also have a version. And let's say that this is the version 1.0. Now we are gonna start adding the roads to this API. So I'm gonna use app.include road, the road that I define that is app jokes. And we can have, for example, a prefix. So I want that this road before the slash jokes, I want it to have a v1 prefix, and we are gonna see what happens with that. Now to run this application, we're gonna be using this command. It's gonna start a Ubiquin server, and we are gonna tell it that our application is in this app file, and the app is called app, okay? So I'm gonna be running this in my local host in my port 5000. You're gonna click just enter, and you should see a message like this, that our application is working in our local host. So now you can go to a browser, hit localhost, the 5000 port, and this is important. If you only have to do this, it's gonna say detail not found. Why? Because when you do this, you are basically telling the browser, look for the route slash, and the route slash is not defined in our API, okay? But this is something really nice about Fast API. It creates a Swagger documentation or an open API documentation in this endpoint slash docs, and you can see this great documentation that it builds for us. So what do we get here? Okay, we have the title that we just set up in our app. We also have the description. We have our tag, which is called jokes, and we have the only input we have defined so far. Okay, notice that it has P1 in this uh, route, and again, this was defined in the application itself and the jokes endpoint, okay? Now, if you open up this, we can see that we have an example of the output. This is because we define that jokes class in the Pydantic model that we told, okay, every time we make a request, the response should have these particular fields, all right? So we click execute, and we can see here, this is a really long a joke. We can get another one. And there you go. This endpoint is already working. Now let's go ahead and create the second endpoint that we're gonna be using in this particular API. Again, to the final endpoint, we just call the decorator app jokes. This is also going to be a get method. And we are going to define the root. Okay, so in this case, the root is gonna be jokes slash, and we are gonna use a parameter, which is gonna be the joke ID. This will let us to require one particular joke and not just a random joke, all right? Again, we have other parameters like the response model, that in this case is also the joke model. We have the description, which is get a joke by its ID, and we want it to have it the same tag. And we have to define our function, which is gonna be called jokes by ID, and it's gonna have one parameter, which is the joke ID we have defined in here. So we're gonna type joke ID, and this is gonna be an integer. This is just for quick reminder that this is the data type that we should be using. This object is a pandas data frame, and I can use the lock method inside the pandas data frame just to get an item by a field condition. So what I need in this case is to get the record that match our ID with the joke ID. I have to export this to a JSON format, so I have to type result equals to result to dict in order of records, and we are going to return the JSON response of the result. Now I can just save the file, and you can see here that the fast API server is gonna get those changes because when I started the server, I told that I wanted to reload every time that I get a new change. Now let's go again to our API documentation. We have to refresh to get a change. So you can see here that we have this new endpoint that uses this path variable, and I can just try out. I'm gonna type 20, and we get the joke with the ID number 20 with the other fields. All right, so that's it for this API. I hope this really helps you to understand a little bit more about Fast API, maybe start this little and fun project, which is really, really simple. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. If you like this video, just make sure to subscribe or like the video so you can support me to make more content like this.
Okay, thank you, and I see you in the next video.